Hello, my lovely Trilobites and Fossil Fam. I appreciate you coming back and watching. I had previously filmed an un unboxing. This is not a mystery box. I went a little bananas during the Charlotte Tilbury sale. And I got, I spent like 180 bucks. And I ended up getting like $400 worth of stuff. And I filmed the unboxing and blah, blah, blah. And then as I was filming the unboxing, I'm like, what am I doing? Why did I buy this? Like, I got a, you know, the, the big bronzer. This is like already packed and everything because I have the label. I'm going to return it because I didn't swatch anything. Um, and I got the bronzer, like the, the really, really, really big bronzer. The one that's like the size of like a personal pan pizza. And I'm like, I'm never going to use this. I might use this twice. This is pointless. Why did why did I buy this? Like, what, what's wrong with me? Um, so... And then there was just a bunch of other stuff that I'm like, this, this is not needed. This is ridiculous. Like, yeah, I got a great deal, a spectacular deal, but, and I got a bunch of free stuff with it, but it's like, I don't, I don't know why I did it. And I mean, I, I do, I'm, but I, I only wanted one product and that was this. I wanted... Because I want to compare the ingredients in all the puffs. Like I want to, and I don't own any. I've never actually tried one of these. I wanted to try um, the puffs. Like check the ingredients and test this against like the Flower Beauty one and the Elf one. And the, you know what I mean? Like the whole puff line basically. But I don't want all of them in the same color. Because, you know, then I'm stuck with a whole bunch of the same color. And that's really redundant. So I placed an order just for this like special shade basically and I ended up getting a free quad I this was like a free gift with purchase or something and these colors are are super super neutral I've never even tried this formula but I mean this is good to travel to like to work with if I have to fly because if an airplane runs over this I won't be upset because it's so neutral so I mean that's good for work it was a free like I said, free gift with purchase. And then I also got a free lipstick. There's another lipstick in the box with a lip liner and a lip gloss that I absolutely do not need under any circumstances. Um, it's it's this one. It's pretty similar. I think all their nudes are very similar. And this is in the shade... Uh, super... Fabulous. Yeah, super fabulous. So this was like a free gift as well. Um, and then I got like a free mini mascara, which has a lot of claims. And I don't know if that is true or not. Okay, this is very disconcerting because usually when there's an asterisk, it's like X amount of people tried it and said this. And usually the number tends to be really low. But it has an asterisk and it does not in any capacity tell me the sample size of the humans that they surveyed. There's an asterisk on here, but it does not link me to where the asterisk tells me the sample size of the people. So that's really, really annoying. I'm not happy about that. Like, it's supposed to tell me how many people they had do it. So I can make fun of how low the sample size is. But yeah, they're not telling us. It, I can't find it anywhere on here. I mean, maybe it's on here and I'm just not seeing it. Anyway, so I got this free sample. And um, I also got, you know, like the standard like cream and whatever. And then when I went to fill out like the return label... I was like, oh yeah, I want to return everything, but just keep this. And I was like, oh, these are in, you know, the packaging. And I'm like, I can, I'm going to send these back and da, 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 like the free gifts. And it's like, no, you do not return those, blah, blah, blah. And then I felt bad. So now I feel bad that I have them. Um, but yeah, I just, it's one of those things where I don't, I don't know why I do that. And I wonder if you guys do the same thing too. Like I'll put... Like, the other night, I had, like, I placed a Sephora order online, and it was, like, $198. 
and 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 I was laying there trying to go to sleep and my brain was like no why'd you do that no and then I got back on my iPad like canceled the order uh, like within the hour and then I was like okay I can go to sleep now like I I constantly do that and I don't know if that's a me thing or if that's like other people do that too <laughs> or it's like you Im impulsively buy something and then you're like an hour later you're like oh my gosh I gotta cancel my order like I'm freaking out right now I don't need anything in that basket like nothing and oh my gosh the amount of orders that I've placed online and then canceled an hour later is is ridiculous it's it's nuts like I I'm so glad I don't have to go to the store and return everything um because hitting the like button of cancellation is so much easier <laughs> and you know it doesn't waste shipping and everything like that but it's it's just it's this thing that I do it's like I will buy something and then I just completely regret it after the fact and then I just end up returning or you know canceling my order and it's it's a weird weird thing I mean yeah I get you know my bank account is happy that I cancel all these orders and then I return things that I never, you know, touch or whatever, but it's just this really annoying thing that I do and I don't know why I do it and I'm trying to figure it out. So, I mean, it's better than obviously keeping everything and just having it go to waste and expiring, but it's, I mean, I am getting better at it, but I don't know, like, what are your... Because I'm not on a low buy or a no buy or anything. So it's not it's not like that. I'm not like confined to any rules. Because I just feel so bad when I purchase things that I don't plan on experimenting on. Or I'm not planning on using. And then I'm like, what am I going to do with this? And I, I don't know. I, tell, I like feel guilty about it or something. Is that weird? I don't know. It might be weird. Let me know what you think. And um, I'm just going to delete the other video. Because it's, it's just... It's bad it's it's really bad the only I might keep like the very end of it because I go into like the other thing but yeah I just I didn't like that video and I wanted to like kind of redo it and just scrap it and be like here's why I scrapped this you know random unboxing haul and why I'm returning superfluous items I don't need and you know, I mean, do, does do, do, does this happen to you too? Do you return stuff where you're like, what the heck did I do? Or, or cancel orders on Sephora app before they actually go through? Or you know what I mean? Like, within a reason, like, a short time period, so it doesn't actually get processed. So let me know if you guys do that as well, or if it's like just me being weird, because I'm actually curious for science and data. Anyway. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Hopefully you're like getting ready for work in the morning and you're bored and no one's posted yet or something. I don't know. That's what I do when I wake up in the morning. I'm like, who's posted so I can like watch or listen to it while I'm, you know, brushing my teeth. <laughs> but anyway, um, please like and subscribe. And I did find some really good goodies at the discount store. I ended up finding some more Armani and I found a bunch of other interesting stuff. So I will be uploading those shorts randomly this week if you're interested in that content as well okay thanks bye